This soup is hot. <laughs> Drop it like it's Oh, I literally dropped it like it was hot. <laughs> hey, Cake Nistas. It's Marisha. Welcome back to another fabulous video and the first food cake of 2023. I know. I know. It's about time. Y'all know I am a serious, serious foodie. My favorite cakes to make on the channel are always going to be food cakes. We are in the middle of winter, although it was a very confusing 58 degrees today. What do you need when you're sick? What do you crave when you're feeling down? Chicken noodle soup. So in this video, we're going to make a chicken noodle soup cake. Not even like just the regular chicken noodle soup, but a hearty chicken noodle soup. This broth was simmered for at least eight hours. So if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification bell, and let's get started. Okay, cake nistas, here is the soup bowl that I'm going to be using for my cake. Yes, it's an actual bowl. So we're cheating a little bit. I have some extra chocolate cake here. This was actually a, a quarter sheet cake and I had it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag so it's really perfect for this cake if you ask me. I'm just going to compact all of that chocolate cake into this bowl filling it up about halfway and then I'm going to top it off with some vanilla buttercream making sure to do a nice even layer and sealing the edges of the cake. This is going to go in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take some chocolate. Do you recognize this cute little bear? This is actually that Dollar Tree white chocolate teddy bear that I got for my little platter thing that I did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I needed to use that bear because he was just sitting around looking at me like I didn't know what I was doing. So I melted him down and I'm going to use that to seal the cake. Now let's get started on our soup toppers. Here is my marshmallow fondant. Once again, I will leave the recipe for the marshmallow fondant in the description. The first thing that we're going to make is the celery. I used a drop of leaf green to get this color and I'm going to simply cut my fondant into rectangular pieces, kind of shape it into a rainbow, and then use the back of my knife to make small indentations around that edge. At that point, I'm going to make a few dots right along the curved edge and that is one way to make your celery. The next way is to use a circle cutter or even a piping tip to cut out small circles. You're going to then cut one edge and then remove the center of your celery. Once again, making some small dot indentations and that is another way, probably my favorite way of the two. Next, let's make our carrots. You cannot have a homemade soup without carrots. I mean, this is two thirds of your mirepoix right here. So I colored my fondant orange. I'm going to roll it out into a carrot shape. And this way we have different sizes of sliced carrots. Very self-explanatory. Just slice your carrot. Make sure that you get a nice rounded edge. You know, when carrots cook down, they're not sharp or anything. They get rounded edges. And that is it. Now for the chicken. This is what's really going to set your soup cake over the top. To get this color, I used a dot of red gel dye and a dot of brown gel dye. A little teeny dab will do you. I cut my fondant into imperfect squares and then I'm simply going to add some texture. I'm going to go in with a knife. I'm going to leave two of those sides smooth and then I'm going to slice some gently, not all the way through. And then I'm going to also prickle some of those sides. So you can see as I turn my pieces of chicken around, they are different textures on each side, just like an actual slice of chicken. That looks like raw meat right there. It looks like, girl, you are cross contaminating to the T. Like, what are we doing here? But no, it is fondant. So once we have our chicken, let's put that aside and let's make our pasta. 
this is just a little bit of golden yellow gel dye one little dot and I got this beautiful golden hue for my pasta I'm going to roll it out and it is so simple you guys I'm just going to make some slices pretty similar to fettuccine you can make whatever kind of pasta that you would like you can roll out or even use a clay extruder to make some thin thin noodles you can do flat pasta like this which is so easy to do you can cut this by hand so that's why it's my preference but it also gives it that nice home style look so just make a lot of pasta make different lengths and put that to the side I'm going to make some peas because why not and all I did was simply use some green gel dye to color my fondant and then I rolled it into small circles now this is what is going to elevate your soup completely i have here some rice paper i just like to take some moss green gel dye and some vodka and brush over that rice paper i let it totally dry and then i can crumble up that rice paper we're going to use it for herbs now we need to make our soup broth we need to make it nice and rich i will leave the ratio for my gelatin sugar and water down below in the description that's all that this is i'm going to use some gold in yellow gel dye and you can also flavor your gelatin with juice you can use orange juice you can use some type of tropical papaya juice I think that's what I did in my previous soup cake you can also use flavorings whatever you have so once I have that I'm going to go ahead and start to build my soup this is really the fun part I mean the pieces are fairly easy to make it's the building part that really like just kind of gets me going so I'm going to start to add in my chicken my carrots my noodles and you're going to see I'm trying to figure out where to place everything so that I can see it but I don't want it to look empty I'm folding up my pasta I'm adding in my chicken and I'm just thinking of how I want to arrange this because once it's in here and we have our gelatin mixture in it is set when pouring in your broth make sure to pour slowly to reduce the chance of air bubbles that is one thing that you don't see in soup so we definitely want to pour slowly and take our time here this is where we go wrong look what is happening to the broth it is slowly turning swampy green it looks like an herb herb crust or chicken no it just looks like a herb broth and I know it came from the my parsley my rice paper that green dye just bled out pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to kind of melt that jello took out what I could rescue all of the noodles were completely disintegrated so let's give it a redo I'm going to make like three times the amount of pasta that I made before and then I'm going to leave out the peas because they may have been a little bit too pigmented. They may have aided in the jello just turning like a green shade. I don't know. I'm not trying to chance it. I'm going to let this cake set in the refrigerator for about two hours and then I'm going to add my rice paper parsley on top and they will not bleed out. You guys, soup's on and the soup is hot. Grab a, um, a ginger ale, some crackers, I would even say a little sandwich. Winner, winner, chicken soup dinner. Winner, winner, chicken soup dinner. I hope that you guys enjoy watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Couture and a chicken noodle soup cake. Bye guys. The soup is on. And it's hot. I can hear y'all in the comments. Yeah, the struggle bus tried to come. No, I didn't get on it. I said, and you can keep going. Don't stop in front of my house. This turned out exactly like I wanted it to. I've been dreaming of making this cake for about four years. It is currently sitting in my kitchen and it has been days. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. The cake needs to comment of the day is going to go to C. On my chocolate covered strawberry roses, C says, this is so cute. I love it with a heart emoji. Thank you. I love those too. I really do. I was actually, um, 
I mean, I, I probably still am. I was thinking of putting those up for like pre-sale for Thanksgiving. And then I said Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh my goodness. For Valentine's Day. I think it's because I had I was thinking about turkey earlier. And I was like, oh, I could sure go for a turkey Caesar salad. Anyway, thank you so much for commenting. I definitely appreciate it. If you would like to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below and be subscribed to the channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. And my personal page is Marisha's underscore couture. And my cake page is Marisha's underscore couture underscore cake. I hope to see you guys outside of YouTube. I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching it and I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, Cake Nista. Play The Soup Is Hot. Here's The Soup Is Hot by Shark Soup on Amazon Music. I don't know what Shark Soup is. The soup is hot, the soup is hot, the soup is hot.